If you were looking for the perfect gift for that disc golfer in your life, look no further, you were in the right place. But before we get into it, we have to get into the don'ts for what you do not want to buy that disc golf. The number one don't that nobody wants is the trashy disc golf starter sets. You find them at Ollie's, you find them at Walmart. Uh, I'll go ahead and put some pictures of them here. There's so many, They're most of them are trash. There is a few that are actually decent, but that's the number one don't. Number two, we don't want dog frisbees and we don't want those plastic flimsy frisbees. I don't know why everybody always decides, hey, this will work for that disc offer. We don't actually throw frisbees, we throw discs. A little bit different, the discs are typically a little bit harder. They hold up a lot better and the frisbees are just super soft. You can't really throw them that far. And number three is the cheap disc off baskets. I know Franklin's got one, whammo has got one. There's a few out there. Again, I'll put some pictures up here. Do not bias those, those do not work. We will break them in like a week. Now that we've got the don'ts out of the way, let's get into it. I've got 17 products here that range in price from $5 all the way up to like $3.50. So that way you guys have something in that slot for whoever you're buying for. Let's go ahead and we'll get started from the lowest price to the most expensive. We're gonna go ahead and be starting off with gift cards. Gift cards to local disc golf store or a local sporting goods store that may have discs is always a safe option because you allow that disc offer to buy something that they may need. That would be my first recommended item for the lower budget. That one's kind of like the cheat code, but now that we've got that one out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the actual disc golf items. Starting off with pins for the disc golf bag, I'm going to go ahead and show some of them here. They look kind of like that. What I like about this is you can buy something that kind of suits their style, whether they're like a TV show, you can find pins of virtually anything. And so you can buy something that that disc golfer may like, they can put on their bag. Those pins definitely do mean a lot and they are also very cheap, probably ranging from five to 15 bucks at the most. For number two, I've got a disc golf towel. A disc golf towel is very useful, especially the ones that clip onto the bag. They're useful just to dry off the disc whenever they get wet. A lot of the times when we go out and play, the grass could be wet or it could be raining. So having that disc golf towel is definitely a necessity. They range in price from like probably 10 to 30 bucks. Here's a few. I'm going to go ahead and have everything linked below as well. So if you do find something here that you like, it will be linked in the description. Number three is the disc golf chalk bag. I use these things all the time. They give you so much better grip whenever it comes to throwing your disc, especially if your hands are very like dried out or something, or if they get very, very sweaty. It works on both ends, but a chalk bag is definitely a necessity. They range in price from probably like five to 30 bucks as well. You definitely don't need to go on the expensive side here unless you're wanting one that had some sort of cool picture on it. The cheaper ones will work just as well as the expensive ones in my opinion. Item number four, a disc golf retriever. Disc golf retrievers are so useful. There has been plenty of times I've got my disc stuck 20 foot up in the tree and I've had to climb because I didn't have my retriever. It is definitely something that I find very useful out on the course, especially if you throw into water, into a tree, or like into thorns and you don't want to crawl through there. A disc golf retriever is definitely useful. They range in price from probably about 20 to 30 bucks. Number six is disc golf minis. We have to have one if we play tournament play. But what a mini is, is it's just a little tiny frisbee that marks your spot. I'll have a few of them pictured here. And what that allows for us to do is mark our spot so we can pick up that disc and throw again. Like I said, they are required in tournament play. So if they play tournaments, they'll definitely love a new mini. Bug spray is definitely something. So if you're looking for like a cheap, cheap option, bug spray is definitely the way to go. You can buy bug spray for like six bucks. But I'd say about 90% of disc golfers use it whenever they play in that summer to springtime, whenever the bugs are most out and about. Those mosquitoes will definitely get to you. Same with the ticks. So it's always nice to have some bug spray repellent on you. I would definitely recommend getting this in in combination with another item but if you just want to get the bug spray still better than nothing we'll definitely use it item number eight is disc golf merch like the hat link in bio <laughs> just kidding but for real as a disc golfer we love supporting other disc golfers especially local disc golf brands and other youtubers stuff like that I definitely have a few items of merch. I love to support the local disc golf stores, places like that. I do have another round hat I wore forever. It was like 20 bucks. I've got a Disc Mania shirt and just other disc golf merch. Definitely worth checking out. Probably ranging in price from like 20 to 60 whenever you're looking at most of the disc golf merch out there. Now we'll go into the higher tier stuff. I would recommend a disc golf mystery box. With a mystery box, you don't actually buy any set discs. Each brand has their own sort of mystery box. You can do like three discs, 10 discs, whatever amount of discs you wanna do, the price does vary on that. I would definitely recommend it if you don't know what 
that person who plays disc golf actually throws, but you maybe know that brand, I would recommend just buying a mystery box of that brand. They will definitely enjoy it. For item number 10, I want to go ahead and go with the JBL Clip speaker or any sort of speaker that can clip onto the bag. The JBL Clip is definitely top tier whenever it comes to the clip style speaker. They are actually relatively cheap. I want to say like $40 to $60, but they are definitely worth it. The sound on these things are amazing. I have one. I absolutely love it. I would definitely recommend it if they do not already have one. You can clip it on the side of your bag, the side of your cart, whatever, but it is definitely worth it. The disc golfer will definitely use it. Number 11 would be a practice basket. As a disc golfer, we will definitely use those if we get one. They typically range in price from, I'd say, 100 to 200. But here's a few of those practice baskets but we will definitely use it if you get it for us and we will really be appreciative for it. The next item would be the Bushnell rangefinder or any rangefinder for that matter. I just recommend the Bushnell one because that's the one that I have. I absolutely love it. I don't use it as often as I should, but I think it is a great gift for anybody who does play disc golf. For the next item on the list, I'm actually gonna combine two, a disc golf bag or disc golf cart. These are on the more expensive side. You're probably looking to 100 to 350 on this. But if you want to get that person a gift that will last, a disc golf cart, I recommend Zuka carts or the hover carts. And then the bags, there's really a variety of bags out there that are absolutely amazing. Right now I'm using the Dynamic Discs hand eye bag, but there are definitely quite a few bags out there you can get that range probably from like the 40 to $80 range that are definitely worth it. But if you guys were wanting to go ahead and go out of the way, I would recommend just going ahead and getting them like a Zuka cart. Zuka carts are amazing because it takes the weight off your shoulders. And if you play around, it typically take like an hour to two hours. So carrying around a heavy bag, especially if they carry a lot of discs, does take a toll. Typically I will get like a back sore and I'm relatively young. So I couldn't imagine what it would be like if I were a little bit older but a disc golf cart would definitely be something that disc golfer would use if they don't already have one. They are amazing. I love mine. It makes for a good seat and just a nice way to move my discs around on the course. For the final item, if they do watch a lot of pro disc golf, disc golf tickets aren't that expensive, especially to like the United States stuff. If you do live in the States, I know disc golf tickets, I want to say they range from like 50 to $200 for the day passes to go watch. I would definitely recommend that if that is within your budget as they will probably love it. I would just get on the USDGC website and check out and see whatever's closest to you. Just buy tickets for that. They will definitely appreciate and love that. But with that being said, that will wrap up today's video. Like I said, I'm going to try and have everything linked in the bio description below. So make sure to check that out if you guys were interested in buying any of those products. Hope you guys take care. Have a Merry Christmas and peace out.